There's a old saying that runs around in engineering circles, simplificate and add lightness. <laughs> it's a cute little saying that sort of encompasses the idea that things are actually more simple than they sometimes want to be. I mean, we, we tend to try to hyper-complicate things. We simplificate instead of simplify. We add lightness instead of lighten something. It's a little joke, a little play on words. This is what we're doing in America today with our government and with our laws. Uh, and, and gay marriage is a prime example of this. We're sitting here trying to pretend to ourselves that we don't know where children come from, that we don't know what marriage and family law is about, that we don't know why there need to be laws to keep women from being cheated on and men from being cuckolded and kids from being abandoned and all of society being chaos because people just won't behave themselves the way they know they're supposed to behave themselves. And sure, marriage has evolved over the millennia that it has been around, but it has always been a law, and it has always had to do with mitigating the chaos that comes from when men and women have sex but refuse to take responsibility for one another and for their children. Adding homosexuality into this mix trying to pretend like homosexuality is some third gender along with every other gender-related sexual perversion under the sun is creating precisely the kind of chaos that government is actually supposed to prevent. This is why we need better leadership than what we're getting out of the likes of Donald Trump. These lazy cowards, men like him, want to try and skirt along the side of these issues. They don't want to address them head-on. They don't want to cause any scene with the liberal left. There's an old Bible verse that talks about this. You are oppressed by women and children. You're a coward. I mean, the people that are running us around, dragging us around by our noses, are some of the weakest, least powerful people on the face of this earth. I mean, a big part of the entire lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, and intersex movement is pity us. Everybody keeps abusing us. And then they send normal people to jail for not going along with their agenda. Well, who's abusing who now and why? Common, everyday people are being abused because our leadership are cowards. Moral ethical, and physical cowards. <laughs> and the women and children that are pushing us around, who's the one person that stood up against this? Another woman. Yes, that's right. So, men of America, feel the burn. You are a shameful bunch of cowards for letting this happen. And one woman has made a stand, finally, hopefully, the rest of America will wake up as well because this is a sad, sick example of precisely what's wrong with America and with our leadership. Thank you again for watching. Take care. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.